Hey golf whackers, so it's almost that time where I'm going away and in preparation for a tournament in Austria, the first one of eight in a row. Um, I'm actually going to going to Scotland for um, 30, for 72 holes there, and then on to on to Paris to play uh, five days there. So uh, it's travel day tomorrow. Uh, and what I like to do just before travel day, because it's obviously a day where I'm not going to hit any golf balls tomorrow. Uh, not going to do anything to do with golf other than maybe listen to an audio book on the uh, on on the train. Um, I am at uh, at practice, and I I really like the idea of doing a lot of sort of range block practice and then um, like a, a task orientated skill based games on the range um, just before travel day, because then I sort of go into playing mode. So I've been playing, playing, playing. Um, you know, sometimes seven days a week uh, with a couple of rounds per day sometimes. And now I'm just got because for me, if I play so much, I can get away from technical elements that are sort of my foundation to um, what I take onto the golf course. So a day like today, especially before travel, uh, before travel day is a perfect opportunity to kind of recalibrate check the swing out check my tendencies work on that pattern that that i'm trying to drill in so i can go to the golf course uh, day after tomorrow and play freely with with a pure technical feeling in my pre-shot routine and then go into my instinctive reactive play in the golf shot um, so this for me is really about building the reps and building the feeling and seeing it on video to know that I'm sort of progressing um, or, or ticking the right boxes for, for where my game is at now. I know exactly after playing loads of rounds over the last few weeks, including one tournament, which, uh, which actually went really well. Um, you know, I finished, uh, finished 24th in a one day tournament. It was really bad weather, but it was great to get a scorecard in my hand and see exactly what I do well good and needs work what needs work um, under the gun when you only get one chance at it so uh, I actually drove it better than I thought I would do uh, maybe it's because I'm a bit more in competition you're a bit more alert in competition especially for me I actually hit it harder in competition so it was good to uh, find sort of tournament yardages so for instance like my seven iron floats around sort of high 170s, 180 um, when I'm not in tournaments and that can jump up, you know, eight to 12 yards in a tournament. So um, the golf course plays slightly different for me in a practice round and when tournaments on because you've got that adrenaline going and um, you're sort of in a heightened state of awareness. You're aware of how you feel your body you you're aware of things around your noises and it's really trying to for me uh, like quieten that down and focus on my two-step process which is the technical thought before i hit it so sort of in this zone so i picked out my target and then moving on into into the shot into being instinctive reactive and trying to hit the shot that i that i see and um, so again this is sort of a really key this is where I build a lot of confidence in to know that I'm starting it at this particular uh, target and it's moving for me a little draw with my irons if I'm swinging really well. Uh, swing's coming on, well, the swing's sort of my swing now. It's uh, it's more of how far away I'm hitting, hitting the golf ball to my targets. And this is a perfect opportunity to work on it. I've got a lovely uh, right to left wind, it's slightly into, so if I miss strike it, I'm gonna get a little flight. So it's a little different in flight. So for me, it's looking at all the all the fine details. Um, you know, I'll set cones out, I'll uh, and work on my wedges, my distance control. And I've actually got a really nice tight sort of uh, gap, which looks like a fairway, um, which I can practice my driver to and really gain a pattern for my driver because I have to put time into um, my driver uh, and the, the the longer game because it's very sort of um, there's a lot of technical uh, technicalities to it. But again, it's it's more 
trying to build a, a solid routine that doesn't really waver. So, um, and, th and this will let, th if I do all the work correctly today, it will let my mind rest. So I'm not going to a tournament thinking, oh, how am I hitting it? How am I gonna hit it? You know, I'm, I'm not gonna get many surprises uh, or shouldn't get many surprises when I'm out there because um, when you're under pressure, you, you, you become or you do exactly what you've practiced. So uh, I really like practicing on my own. I can really get into sort of a, uh, a heightened state of awareness, uh, a, a more, uh, I'm thinking internal, my mind and body is sort of, I'm thinking about, you know, um, how my body's moving, the speed, the positions, and really not so much about rhythm, but rhythm will come if I see a shot. And, um, but these day, to days like today, are actually essential. I will go out my way, I know it's my job, but I'll go out my way to find somewhere to be on my own. Obviously now I've got a camera on a tripod, doing a little bit of YouTube, like a YouTuber. Um, but really this day is just for me, to know that I've ticked all the boxes that I can do, and I'm ready to go and play. Uh, and I've got the balance right between playing and practice, and my, my sort of technical foundation is there. So. Uh, I have got a couple of buckets of balls. There is no limit to the amount of balls that I will hit in a, in some of these days. It's 50 balls. Some of them, you know, are up into the high hundreds of old balls. So it's just a purely, today's about Marcus and building a, um, building clarity for the, for the week to come. So that's pretty much what today's about.